Carousel Auto Loader Setup and Operating Procedures Begin setting up the Carousel Auto Loader by connecting a half-inch air line to the quick disconnect coupling on the back of the unit. Adjust the filter regulator to 80 PSI or 5.5 bar. Plug the power cord into the unit and a wall outlet. The electronic foot switch and the containment system both have electrical connections that connect on the back of the system. Setup is now complete, and the system can be powered on for immediate use. The main power switch is located on the back of the system. The power switch for the HMI touchscreen is located on the front of the unit. Always turn on the main power first and the HMI touchscreen second. Select the flag corresponding to your language of choice. The system will remember your selection. Touch the ID card to enter your name or user ID and press Enter. Then press the forward arrow to continue. Now select the correct projectile size for your cleaning application. Three cleaning modes are now displayed. The normal cleaning mode is recommended for most hose and tube cleaning applications, and the graphic is a single projectile. The Air Purge Plus 1 or 2 projectile cleaning mode graphic is air blowing with either one or two projectiles. This mode is for removing large particles of contamination that are generated from internal or external hose skiving process or cutting process with abrasive saw blades. The Air Purge timer is preset at 3 seconds. Additional time can be added by touching the Air Purge timer box, adding seconds, and then pressing Enter. The air purge will allow large particles of contamination to pass through the verification sensors without triggering a verification. Graphics appear on the screen throughout the cleaning process to inform the operator of exactly what the unit is doing. When a cleaning mode is selected by touching the graphic, the loading process will begin. The loading graphic shows a projectile moving vertically on the screen. When the loading sequence is complete, a launch graphic depicting a boot pressing a foot switch will be displayed. You are now ready to launch the projectile. Hold the hose or tube assembly against the nozzle and press the foot switch to activate the launching sequence. The air will come on and the projectile will be launched. The launch graphic shows a projectile moving horizontally across the screen. The exit end of the hose or tube should be placed into the chute on the containment system. The projectile will break a light beam in the containment system, which will signal verification. The system will automatically load the next projectile and the launch graphic will appear when loading is complete. The Air Purge Plus 1 or 2 projectile mode will show a puff of air moving horizontally across the screen. Once the Air Purge is complete, the system will automatically load a projectile and you will be prompted to press the foot switch to launch the projectile. For the Air Purge Plus 2 projectile mode, you will be prompted one additional time to launch a projectile before reverting to the beginning of the Air Purge sequence. The Carousel Autoloader has a fault mode to ensure that a projectile is never left in a hose or tube assembly by mistake. A fault occurs when there is a misfire and no verification occurs. The operator will know that something is wrong when the compressed air continues to blow and projectile verification does not happen as normal. If this should occur, simply press and release the electronic foot switch to turn the air off. The carousel autoloader will not work again until the fault is cleared. Before clearing the fault, the misfired projectile should be located. Visually inspect inside the nozzle, firing chamber, or in each end of the hose or tube. After locating the misfired projectile, follow the fault screen instructions and enter the password when prompted. The screen will now prompt the operator to activate an air purge in case there is a projectile still inside of the hose or tube. Hold the hose tightly against the nozzle and press the foot switch to activate the air purge. We recommend that the air purge fault timer be for 3 seconds or longer depending on the length of the hose or tube. If a projectile is inside of the hose or tube and is dislodged during the air purge, it will be verified when it enters the containment barrel. However, the air purge will continue until the time expires on the air purge fault timer. After the air purge, the system will return to the correct cleaning mode screen. All projectile verifications and faults are counted by the system. You can access the information by pressing the counter information button. The projectile verification counters can be manually reset to zero by pressing the size button for each projectile size.
Faults can be reset on the second page by pressing the Fault Reset button and entering the password. All user IDs, projectile sizes, verifications, and faults are stored in the PLC for data logging requirements and cannot be reset or erased by the operator. Data logging information can be accessed from the USB port on the back of the system and downloaded to a computer. Changing the projectile size and hopper box is easy. Before firing your last projectile, press the Finish Flag graphic. This will allow you to fire the last projectile and the system will not automatically load the next projectile after verification. You can now remove the hopper box and install the next hopper box for your new cleaning requirements. Select the projectile size and cleaning mode. The system will now load a projectile for launching. Handheld launcher attachments are also available and come complete as an assembly. Screw the locking ring onto the front of the firing chamber and hand tighten. Attach the electronic trigger cable to the front panel. You have the option of using the electronic foot switch to initiate the firing sequence as well. The gear graphic is for system settings. There are three air purge timers that can be set by the operator in the settings menu. Air purge plus one or two projectile cleaning mode, fault air purge and extended air purge after verification. Air ionization removes static electricity in the hopper box, which is important for loading projectiles quickly. The air ionization is automatic when the HMI power switch is turned on. Air ionization can be turned on or off in the settings menu, but we recommend that you leave it on. The language button will take you back to the language selection screen. The projectile counter button will take you to the verification and fault count screens. The back arrow will take you to the operator login screen. For more information and support for all your hose and tube cleaning and capping requirements, please email us at sales at ultracleantech.com or visit www.ultracleantech.com.